All right, YouTube watchers, it's time for another Saab story. Yes, this is my 2001 Saab 95. I've shown you before how to change the CSP. And uh, guess what? I think the CSP I put in is having issues. Last time I didn't talk much about the symptoms. Um, this time I'm going to tell you what the symptoms are and we're going to do some experiments to see if we can kind of quickly determine if it is the CSP and also I'm going to do some experiments with bottled water as an emergency fix for your CF CSP and also as a way to test this thing out. So I know there's YouTube videos about testing your sensor, taking it out, testing it with a meter and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to just show you uh, the experiments that, that I'm going to do here in my driveway. I have um, just started up the car and what I've been seeing is it will run for a while and then it will just cut out and then it won't start again. Once it cools down it will start again. So I have a stopwatch going right there and uh, just started it up. So we'll see how long it takes until it does. So just a bit about the symptoms I've been having. Um, basically the car will run for about 20 minutes um, at idle. I've been doing it at idle because I don't want to get stuck anywhere. And it's almost exactly 20 minutes from a cold start to uh, when it just comes out. Sometimes it'll sputter a little bit. Um, you'll notice if your CSP is going bad and you're driving along, your car almost will stumble, almost like it, it misses, uh, misfires or something like that. And um, that's a warning sign. That's <laughs> I've had that happen before and uh, that means uh, you've got issues. And it might not throw a trouble code. In fact, um, I don't think I was having one this particular time around and I don't remember before if I did, but even if the code is thrown, it might not be specific enough to tell you it's a CSP. So, um, but basically those are the symptoms that, that you need to look out for. If it comes out after about, say, around 20 minutes of running and then typically won't restart when it's hot and once it cools down, it will restart again. And kind of depending on how hot it is, how much, you know, it cooled off, uh, it will conk out again, uh, probably shorter than 20 minutes. So, uh, you might be able to get going, but it can be real inconvenient if it comes out right in the middle of heavy traffic or in a, uh, you know, on a highway or something like that. Okay, so after about 19 minutes, she sputtered and she conked out. Now we'll see if she'll start up. So I had left it for about five minutes or so and started back up. Here's how many miles I have on this 2001 Saab 95. Um, now I'm going to see how long it will run until it comes out again. Part two of the experiment. Okay, so it just ran for a little over a minute and maybe a minute and a half um, by the time I started the stopwatch and then conked out again. Typically after the car heats up and it conks out, it won't start back up. This is an indication it might be the crankshaft position sensor. Now, the next part of the experiment. All right, what I'm gonna try is hosing, I'm hosing down the crankshaft position sensor right away. It's down in there, I'm getting it over a lot of other stuff. So we're gonna see if that'll cool off the sensor and it'll start right back up. And it did. So, basically, just a recap, I ran it for about 20 minutes, um, then it conked out, 19, 20 minutes, that's typical. We've seen that before. Then, after I let it sit a little bit, about five minutes, it was able to start back up again, but uh, it ran for about a minute, maybe two minutes, and then it conked out again. And what I just did just now, right after that, is hose it down a little bit for about 10 or 20 seconds, right, just spraying water right on the sensor as best I could, and she fired right back up. Okay, it went for about three minutes after I had cooled it down with the, with the hose, and then it conked out again. And this time, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling, and we'll see if it will restart. Surprised, actually, that it did. We'll see how long it will idle. Okay, she just conked out again after running for almost five minutes, and this time I had the hood down, actually, when it was running. Um, I hadn't done that before. You can hear the fan going. Let's see if it'll start back up. Okay, that's pretty typical of uh, the lack of ability to start after it heats up. Okay, now what I'm trying to do after it wouldn't start, um, I have some water in a bottle. And it's just regular well water that we have here in our home. 
nothing special about it. You could use any kind of water. Probably colder the better. And uh, let's see what happens now. Hey, so it works. Um, for the record, I used two bottles of water and uh, that seemed to be enough to get me going again. So I feel like I'm pretty sure my CSP is bad. I'm gonna get another one and uh, I'll install that and then you know, try the, uh, the test again, the 20 minute idle test and see if it keeps going. And um, if it doesn't, then I've got another problem. Okay, after the two water bottle treatment and the restart, um, we got about almost nine minutes out of it until it conked out again. So here's my recommendation. If you think your CSP is going, try this out um, and put a new one in. You can see my other video for uh, how to do that in this car or there's a lot of stuff out there on the web. Also, carry a couple water bottles around with you just in case uh, you need to kind of emergency restart this thing if your CSP is going bad. Okay, well, I got a new crankshaft position sensor and I installed that. Um, and uh, the car's running. So we're, we're pretty happy. Um, this is the one that I got. And I have no idea anything about this company or anything but I got it off Amazon for about 15 bucks so hopefully it's not a get what you pay for kind of deal and it'll last a little while the other one I had gotten through Rock Auto it was um, I believe a uh, Beck Arnley or something like that but um, that one lasted me about 17,000 miles and um, so that's about two years not too bad but I really don't want to have to replace these that much but now that I'm getting the hang of it I figured well I'll buy a cheapie the other one that I saw on Amazon was about 40 or 50 bucks so trying to cheap out a little bit because who knows how long this car's gonna run and there's about five dozen other things that could go wrong any minute so anyway, here we are. We're at over 27 minutes. It's been running. As you saw inside, it's all heated up. And uh, I'm pretty uh, convinced that my problem was the, was the, was the uh, crankshaft position sensor. And we should be good to go. Here's Jasper. He's part German Shepherd. Training him up to be a sod mechanic. But he wishes we drove BMWs. All right. This is the, um, the CPS. The old one. This one's toast. And uh, so there's for those who haven't seen it, that's the bit that goes into the engine. And um, there's the, the terminal. So this one's done. Hopefully the new one will last a little while and uh, we won't have to be back at this again too soon. Hope you like this video. Give me some comments. Um, hopefully the uh, little bit about cooling off the sensor with water with either a hose or a water bottle. Hopefully that helps somebody out at least to diagnose and uh, maybe also to um, save somebody if they're in a tight situation. Uh, carry some water bottles around. You never know. You might have to use that trick to get you started again and get you home.